Report is brought to you by Sunrise Volkswagen, where the sun always shines on savings. Back for us for another year is uh, one of the uh, dean of uh, baseball reporters, probably the guy who uh, really has been doing it longer than anybody else, and that is Peter Gammons. Peter, welcome. How are you? I, I never thought we'd be talking about Jay-Z on, uh, you know, on your show. Yeah, that's where, we are. that's where we start, Peter. And, you know, it's interesting. Uh, it had to send two sends of reverberations. The first set that uh, seeing uh, Boris get floored, number one, and then to realize what the other agents have to feel the ramifications could be to have Jay-Z in the business. Oh, absolutely. I think it's going to be very interesting. When you have Jay-Z backed up by CAA, um, that's going to be a very interesting combination. But the, the ramification, I mean, in some ways, I have to believe that there's, we know that Scott is going to end up in a lawsuit here. He's going to go after Cano. But, um, yeah, and I've thought this all along. Um, cause Robbie has a real sense of the game and its history and what it means. Um, I can't. I kept thinking, you know, when it really comes down, here's a shit. There's going to be a monument for Robbie Cano if he stays a Yankee his life, for, for life. And that, I, mean, there, I don't think there's another team in baseball where it has that kind of impact where you think about, wow, I could be out in the monuments. And I kept thinking all spring, you know, I wonder, you know, it's going to be hard. Isn't it going to be really hard for Robbie to walk away from the Yankees? And now I think that uh, I think it's very clear that it will be very difficult for him to walk. Yeah, I don't. I think if anything, that keeps him in New York because they're going to want to anchor him here if they want to launch. And it sounds like Robbie wants to be a big part of that new business too. Oh yeah, which is I'm sure it's very attractive to him and so forth. And uh, but uh, and so now I guess you know the, the uh, <laughs> I guess it means that. Uh, uh, <laughs> One general manager said to me today, it means that on February 10th next year, um, Jacoby Ellsbury will be waiting to find out where he plays. <laughs> he's, he's next in line in, in the, uh, the top Scott free agent list. <laughs> We're talking about Peter. All right, Peter, what is, the, what is the feeling in New England about the Red Sox this year? Well, it's funny how one game sort of changes some things. I mean, I don't think people have really noticed the, the kind of direction they're trying to go with it's one thing to hear about characters. It's another thing to see guys play hard. But um, starting to get the younger players into that team mean a lot. I mean, obviously yesterday was a showcase for Jackie Bradley, his extraordinary defensive skills, his, his ability to get on base, his being a very good base runner despite not having great speed. But just starting to get those younger guys and hope that they can build enough defense around the pitching staff uh, and that bullpen to be able to – get off to a good start and just see where it takes them as far as eradicating well I say the last seven months because I believe they're now 76 and 113 since September 1st of, of 2011 well you know they got a very good bullpen hard throw is a very good bullpen Your, Yuri Hara was a great signing I mean so they got a very good bullpen uh, and Bailey looked good yesterday. His breaking ball looked good. So they and Miller throws it real hard. So they got a good bullpen. The question is the back of the rotation. Uh, we heard good things out of Lackey in spring training. Are you buying that, or we should we buy that, or is that a bunch of spring training talk? I, no, I think so. I mean, he was up to ninety four in his minor league rehab start um, two days ago. Uh, is he going to be a John Lackey that, that started in one game seven of the two thousand two World Series? Of course not. But he could be a durable guy who keeps him in games uh, with good defense and, they, and gets them to the bullpen in the seventh inning. And I think that's, that's what they're looking for from Lackey and in most starts from Dempster. Some reliability. Because with some of the young guys they have coming, Dubron is a, to me, is a very important figure on that team because he's got great stuff. But, I mean, he came into spring training out of shape again this time. So he's, he's a little behind. And the question is, how, how, what kind of a burning feeling does he have for wanting to be really good, as good as he can be, which is a, you know, a second, maybe a third starter, and then they have the Webster kid they got from the Dodgers, um, um, who will undoubtedly be in the rotation by July. So they, they've got some some building that they they can do with the pitching staff, which are so they should be in a pretty good position if Lester and Buckles pitch the way they 
they presume they're going to. All right, what does baseball think of the Yankee situation? Do they re- do they expect them to collapse this year? Do they expect them to decay under the age and the injuries or not? I think a lot of people do, but and I don't know how you feel, but until I know that Derek Jeter's ankles are really killing him and that um, – Teixeira's wrist, and then I always worry about wrist injuries with hitters, but until I know that his wrist is going to bother him all year, I mean, I still think that the pitching is good enough to be pretty representative. I mean, I look at the East this way. I think the one team in the division that can win 95 games is Toronto. But they have a lot of questions. I mean, because Josh Johnson going to be healthy? Is Reyes going to be healthy on turf? Um, what is Burley going to be like in the American League East? Um, is the bull, I mean, can they find a way to put together a bullpen? So you know, those are all things that we don't know. If that if they aren't, then I can see the other four teams being from 84 to 90 wins, kind of a, 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 a you know end up in kind of a of a mess of a race, but it could be a fascinating race because I I'm one who goes I don't care that Chen is the only Orioles starter that that made it to 150 innings last year. The way they move those guys in and out between um, um, uh, the, the kid from LSU, the, 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 with Arietta, with uh, Britain, um, I, they could end up with a totally different rotation in August than they had in April, and they could they could end up winning another 84, 85 games.